Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present you the best project management tools that are right now on the market. There will be three parts in this video. The first part is going to be those which I don't recommend at all to use. Then I'm going to talk about the special ones which are different comparing to the others. And then I'm going to show you the best that if, you could, if you're going to choose those, you're not going to make a mistake. So let's start. Now, the first one that I don't recommend at all, and I'm not going to make this two minutes talk, how important is it to choose good project management software? I'm just going straight to the point. So Bitrix24, the worst customer service ever on the planet. They are trying to accomplish everything, yet it's like nothing. You got CRM, you got webmail, you got calendar, you got employees, robotic process automations here with beta and plenty of stuff, but nothing is deep. Bitrix24 is on the surface, perfect. But when you try to go deep, you are going to get lost. Also, their tutorials are not that great. When you would go to task and project right here that you want to use it for, you would like, it's not simple. It's not from UX and UI standpoint, from user experience and user interface, I don't recommend using Bitrix24. Only because of this, it's not easy. The customer support is not great. The reviews are not great from people using that that they don't even know how to use it. And in my opinion, there are multiple, multiple tools much better comparing to Bitrix24. And we will get to it soon. Now, the second that I don't recommend to use at all is Notion. Notion, I mean, yes, you can say that Notion is an awesome productivity tool. I completely agree. I can't disagree with it. But if I would have a team with three, five people, I wouldn't use Notion only because if you want to be effective, if you want to create effective processes, then I, you, you, you shouldn't use Notion. But if you love Notion on that way that you like to play around with everything, you are the de detailist, right? That you want to have everything so like calculated. I don't know even how to describe the word. That you just like to play with the Lego, right? Notion is a great. If you have a team of people that like to play with the Lego and don't do actually work, but mess around in Notion, oh mamma mia, go with the Notion. But Notion would be really awesome for using as a personal project in which you are like tracking a workout, what you eat, how productive you are, etc. Okay, Notion is awesome for that. But as a project management, you will get lost to it because it's hard to connect with everything with each other comparing to those that I'm going to show you soon. Now, Notion, it's a no-go in my eyes. I created over 100 tutorials, 100 comparison videos in which I'm comparing productivity tools and project management tools. And Notion is not winning in my eyes, but that's me. Now, the third one that I don't recommend at, at all to use is Trello, but I would recommend it only because if you want to, if you are you and someone or like third person and those projects that you want to do are not complex. In that way, Trello is amazing. But don't use Trello if you're gonna have five, ten more people because they have only can they have only the Kanban boards, nothing else, and you will get also lost in it. This is just my pure recommendation. Then you would need to like jump to Asana or others because just no. And I know it's free, perfect, right? But Trello is not that great. If you want to have like team of three, five and more people, I wouldn't use it for it only because it's limiting and it's limited and you will get the more project you're going to have, the more lost you will become and you don't want it as a project management. So now these three were that I don't recommend at all to use. If I would be you, I would stay hell out of them. And if you say that, OK, I'm going to try it, go go there. <laughs> now those now I'm going to show you those which are special to me. These are like, damn. First is Basecamp. Basecamp is a combination of Slack and project management tool. When you would go here and open a Basecamp, what I really like is this. So you got the headquarters, then you got the teams of like sales, marketing and whatever. And then you get a project. When you would click on the teams, you have like in those team, people can chat with each other. So you got a message board, you got a campfire, to do's, docs files, automatic check-ins and everything, right? So someone can open a team, jump in the team and have a task, have a chat directly in that team. So it's damn simple. But then you're going to have a project in and in those, that project, you can invite people from multiple teams to work on that project. And in the here, you get a message board, you get campfire. 
And how simple and awesome is that? It is different comparing to Monday.com or Trello or others. It's a combination of a chatting room, to-do list, like right here, and then combination with a with project management, right? And with schedule and docs files. So Basecamp is awesome and really special because it's different. And the pricing, let me show you. The Basecamp pricing right here, you're gonna pay only $100 mount flat. So you're not going to pay more. This is also really great. Only because if you have like 15, 20, 30 people, you're always gonna pay 100 month, no more. But if you're gonna have two people or three people, ay, 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 I don't know. Basecamp is not great for two having two, three people. I wouldn't use it. But for multiple teams, goddamn, Basecamp is the way. And in this way, I decided it's special because it's completely different comparing to the others. Now, the next one I prepared for you is a Smartsheet. Smartsheet, again, that's a combination of Excel or Google Sheets and project management. And in this way, Smartsheet is damn perfect. Only because if you, love, if you love Excel, if you want to connect multiple sheets together, go with the Smartsheet. You're not going to mis make a mistake here. So Smartsheet, using that only if you want to connect, uh, if you want to have a lot of numbers in your sheets, if you want to have a lot of calculations with the budgeting costs and also expenses and everything, go with the Smartsheet. And also if you want to connect multiple sheets together, and if your teams are more analytical, goddamn Smartsheet is awesome. So again, Smartsheet, combination of project management and also Excel. So you can see right here, you can simply create sub items here, adding budget, actual difference, but it's more about the formulas and everything. It's not that if you expect a lot of project management for Smartsheet, you are not going to get it, okay? So that's something. And now these two are those which are special. And also I want to show you the third one, which is special, but now we are getting to those which I actually recommend to use. Now, the next one is Airtable. Airtable mm, is complex, really complex, if you want to make it complex. So Airtable, then you get us like the basics here, the workspace. I got to see the project tracker right here. Then first, you're going to see this view here, so the tables. And again, I would recommend Airtable if you have multiple people in your team. That's, that's a really great recommendation. Now, then you're going to see tables here and you can simply have a tasks. In tasks, you can have a grid, the form, the calendar, the gallery, the Kanban style if you want to, and the grid. And you can simply add a field type here. And as you can see, you got multiple options as you, you can see it through my camera, rating, percentage. So we got literally everything in Airtable. Airtable is damn complex that you're going to find everything here. In my opinion, it's one of the most complex project management tools. With it, also with the teamwork, but teamwork in my eyes is not that great anymore. Also, it's not that great comparing to Airtable. So Airtable is a special to me, but also they got free automations here that you can use. It's also awesome. So Airtable, it's a good choice if you want to go even more complex. And they got plenty of custom fields that you can use here. So this is probably it. And now those which are really great and I recommend using it. Asana, that's a top notch. And Asana is simple yet complex in the same way. You can simply add custom fields here. You got the boards, you got the timelines, you got the calendar. And even like I have a company which I'm working for and there are like seven, eight people right now and they're using Asana, it's perfect. In Asana, you're not going to make a mistake, right? So Asana, top notch that you can use and do, go with the Asana. To go even further, the next one is a ClickUp. And why I don't talk about the pricing, you can ask, because the pricing is really similar. Comparing all these two, they have like 10 euro per user, the second program and you get everything there. So yeah, ClickUp is also for free and Asana is also for free but limited. ClickUp is also limited, but I really like that you can add, add custom fields here. Let me show you. And you can uh, like estimate it, progress bars, and you can simply again change it to boards. You can change it to timeline, the Gantt here, activities and everything, mind map, table, like 
ClickUp is damn awesome. What I recommend is like test ClickUp, test Asana for you, which one is better, which one is worse and go with those, right? And the last one I have prepared for you, let me show you, is Monday.com. And again, uh, it's similar to ClickUp, but in my opinion, ClickUp is much better comparing to Monday.com. Not only because on ClickUp you have dark theme, but still, Monday.com is great too. Again, you can simply add, let me show you, custom fields with numbers, more columns. And now in Monday.com, you can see it here, people, statuses. Again, it's really similar. It's like brother and sister using Monday.com and ClickUp. So you can have like progress bars, connecting multiple board, bar, boards with each other. And that's pretty much it. So to summarize this whole video, guys, I don't know what else should I tell you about Monday.com. They have epic integrations. Uh, both of these customer support on ClickUp and Asana and Monday.com are great. And they are so damn similar. It's really up to you which design you like more, in my opinion. And which like project management they actually recommend your teammate. Now, the special I have for you is Rike. Rike is also a thing that you can use as a tool that you can use as a project management and you have like list here, board here, but in my opinion, I would go with the Asana already. So that's pretty much it. So to summarize this whole video, I don't recommend using Bitrix24, Notion and Trello. Trello, I would use it only because if you want to go small and if you don't have a big team, but then those which I recommend is a Basecamp. They are special and I explained why, because it's a combination of Slack and project management, Smartsheet and Airtable. So those are special and then the top best, best, best is Asana, ClickUp and Monday.com. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll really happy to help you and yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.